Hey YouTube, this is Chrissy. Um, this is from uh, Science Fair uh, USA Today. Um, it's all over the internet. Looks like the doomsday clock moved closer to midnight. Um, January 10, 2012. Citing ongoing threats from nuclear proliferation, climate change, and the need to find sustainable and safe sources of energy, scientists moved the doomsday clock one minute closer to midnight on Tuesday. The clock was moved from six to five minutes to midnight. The clock is symbolic and has been maintained by the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists since 1947. The closer to a setting of midnight it gets, the closer it is estimated that a global disaster will occur. It is five minutes to midnight, the scientists reported Tuesday. Two years ago, it appeared that world leaders might address the truly global threats that we face. In many cases, that trend has not continued or been reversed. There are still 20,000 nuclear weapons in the world, enough to kill all of humanity many times over, said Robert Sokolow of Princeton University at a press conference in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday. The Bulletin of Atomic Scientists was founded in 1945 by University of Chicago scientists who had helped develop the first atomic weapons in the Manhattan Project. The scientists created the Doomsday Clock in 1947 using the imagery of the apocalypse midnight and the contemporary idiom of nuclear explosion countdown to zero to convey threats to humanity and the earth. The Bulletin has grown into an organization focused more generally on man-made threats to human civilization. The Doomsday Clock was most recently moved back from 5 to 6 minutes to midnight in 2010 in a response to the worldwide reduction of the nuclear weapons and attempts to limit climate change. The clock came closest to midnight, just two minutes away in 1953 after the successful test of a hydrogen bomb by the USA. It has been as far away as 17 minutes, set there in 1991 following the demise of the Soviet Union. Uh, contributing was Associated Press. Um, there's a video here as well. I'll post a link and you can go look at the video. Thank you.